There was an interesting development in Wall Street last week. A lot of press covered it, New York Times covered it, Forbes covered it. It was an outrageous thing. The company which had filed for bankruptcy under Chapter 11 in the United States tried to raise money through an IPO. An IPO is a misnomer. The company already had shares. So this would be in what we call in India as follow on shares. The company in question is Hertz. In America, car rentals is big business. People rent cars all over the place and they drop it at the next point. Hertz is one of the oldest companies engaged in car rentals. What they do is they buy new cars using another entity called ABS, which is asset backed back securities, so that the cost of borrowing is cheaper. They buy new cars and these cars are left for hire. Over the period of the last 10 years, when debt has become cheap, companies like Hertz have gorged on debt. When, when the Chapter 11 bankruptcy was filed, Hertz admitted that it had $410 million in cash flow and $23 billion in debt. Let me put the numbers in right for you. A million is 10 to the power of 6. A billion is 10 to the power of 9. In terms of rupee, a billion is 7,000 crores. That means 23 billion crore, 23 billion is well in excess of 1.5 lakh crore rupees. Whereas the asset, 410 million, is about 2,800 crores. So basically with 2,800 crores of cash, the company had to service a debt of 1.6 lakh crore, 1.5 lakh crores and excess. This was not possible. The company has two brands, other brands under it called Thrifty and Dollar, which give cheaper versions of cars at cheaper prices. The COVID pandemic is a match that hit the lights, the dry stick. The company had heavy debt, borrowed cheaply when free money was made available by the Fed. COVID made sure that people will not rent cars for 3-4 months. So cash flow dried up, car EMAs could not be paid and the, and the company collapsed within a month. This is a case of a good company with a great balance sheet. But that is not the scandal that took place in America. The price of stock almost dropped to zero as people moved into short sell. There was a short squeeze. Stock short could not deliver and the price of stock rallied to $6 as it went to auction. Over a period of time, people will continue to sell stock and will come back to zero. But the management of Hertz tried to do an outrageous thing. They, took a, they up, appealed in court to sell 245 million shares at around $2 a piece to raise $500 million with all the provisos. They had to... To get out of bankruptcy, they would have had to borrow with a debtor in principal borrowing of a billion dollars. With that borrowing, having the first repayment rates before the $23 billion. If they had raised $500 million, there was no need to repay it. And they would have infused some cash into the system. The company has sacked more than 12,000 people and is continuing to sack people and is desperately selling cars in the used car market where there is no demand. The court approved the scheme of trying to attempt 500 million, to raise $500 million. Who gets caught in such schemes is like retail investors like you and me who are taken for a big ride. The account, institutional investor Jeffries was supposed to manage the issue. An application was filed with the Stock Exchange Commission, SEC, who is the regulator in America. Luckily for the retail investor in America, the SEC stepped in and jammed the brakes and denied permission for Hertz to raise money. But if it had slipped through, $500 million of money would have gone from the retail, gullible retail investor to a corporate, to an irresponsible corporate. This is like playing ATM money, where the retails, retail investors' money becomes the cash in the ATM, which need not be returned. This is a problem created by trillions of dollars of debt taken by, by companies with no hope of servicing them. 
the whole idea is to borrow money to return to shareholders. This was dry hay waiting to catch fire. COVID-19 was only a matchstick. Nearly a trillion dollars of junk debt is floating in America and is all going to be burned to ashes and many such bankruptcies are going to come to the fore. The idea is, the idea for smart investors is to find great companies with bad balance sheets. So from the ashes, these companies can be recovered. But while the search goes on, there will be companies like Hertz, which pop up in value because of short squeeze and unscrupulous corporate managers who try to profit from this. These such scams have not hit, hit the shores of India, but will do so soon. It's for the retail investor to be careful and protect himself. Thank you for watching Be Rich. If you like this video, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. There's a WhatsApp number given below. If you want to buy my books, please send a message. If you want a Kindle copy, the link is given below. At the very end, those who want to contact me directly may send a message to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for supporting Berich.